Pussy Riot members Nadesa Tolikornikova and Maria Aliokina were in the crowd outside a Moscow courthouse on Monday where a judge was expected to sentence eight defendants convicted of attacking police at a 2012 demonstration against Vladimir Putin. The Pussy Riot duo have spent time in prison for an anti-Putin protest which took place in Moscow's main cathedral. They were released at the end of last year. Tolikonikova spoke to the waiting media. It is impossible not to be here if you have a brain or if you have a heart because people are in jail. Now many say they may be jailed, but they are already in prison and they have already been in prison for two years for nothing just because they came out to protest about the current state policies. I think it is everybody's duty to support them. Relatives of the defendants feared the recent upheaval in Ukraine would prompt the Russian court to send a firm signal by imposing long sentences. But Tolikonikova hopes the Ukrainian protesters will serve as an inspiration to Russian campaigners. I hope we as citizens will be able to find an inspiration from understanding that it's possible to remove the SARS we do not like, that it is possible. I hope it will have a positive impact on our civil society. But with regard to Putin, it is clear that this situation troubles and frightens him. Pussy Riot released their latest video last week as the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi drew to a close. The video included footage of the group holding protests, during which they were detained by police and at one point beaten with whips by Cossacks. Oh, no!